Okay, do you guys want to see? You guys want to see? Come on, humor me. I'm very proud. We'll get it out of the way now, and then we can focus on politics. Okay? All right? So, I think I've come pretty far in, like, 24 hours. But, like, we have some default cycling animations. And also, the item that we're holding in our hand is an actual physical object in the actual world that maintains its properties in our hand and after being thrown. So, like, it's, it's not like cheating, like, destroy object, appear object. It's the same physical thing with the same proportions and statistics. Which means that this is modular, which means that I can adjust things. The thing that I just did that I'm actually really, really proud of, that took me a while to figure out, is I learned how to use um, interfaces. So uh, I can load all of the uh, relevant data for the weapon in the weapon itself, and then pull that uh, rather than having to like pre-code in a bunch of stats into the um, default attack script. But I learned a lot of stuff. I learned how to use interfaces. We have some um, recursive collider uh, uh, activation and deactivation here. Um, we're referencing shit all over the place. Is there an inspect the animation? Give me a second. It's been three days. That's not high in the priority list. But yeah, it's uh, ray casting and stuff. Anyway, it's been um, yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's all clean code too. It's not um, it's not spaghetti code. Yeah, I I I looked it through. I think this is actually like, I I don't want to um, I don't I don't want to be arrogant or anything. But I think this would be like close to what professional code would look like if it was very simple. Like. I think this is how a professional would recommend you do the simple code that I'm doing, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I'm doing it with a proper process. You know what I mean? Like, organized and not spaghetti-ish and stuff. Um, obviously, this is still, like, really, really, really simple stuff. So, you know, it's not... Um, yeah. Right, God help me, Shu. Also, your commenting is good? Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to keep my um, my head together on it. You should use the new input system. I tried to, but I don't really like it. Um... I'd rather just keep everything in the code, just like this. Wait, there was one other thing that I wanted to show, though. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really proud of this. The actual process for picking up and then dropping a weapon, or, like, throwing it. When I throw it, it does a bunch of stuff, and I got it all to work, and I'm really happy. So first, it changed the layer of the object um, and all the children of the item uh, 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 to the same layer. And then it sets position, and then it moves it to the top of the hierarchy so that it's not attached to the right hand. And then it disables the item's animator, and then it um, reactivates the item's physics engine, and then it reactivates all the item's colliders recursively. Um, and then it throws it forward, and then it uh, nulls the held item variable. Uh, and and it, it all worked. It all worked. I can't believe it all worked, but it all worked. It actually. Um, so, so when thrown, it's, it's just a fully, it's the same thing, you know? If I add an animation for, like, acquiring the item, like, you lift it up, I, this would look like, obviously, also, it, like, throws from the wrong direction, too. It, like, throws to my left, but I can fix that. It's pretty easy. Um, oh, and there's a hit sound. I gathered it from the free effects library. <laughs> but you, you, you get what I'm talking about. So, yeah, we're... Yeah, do you like his face? It's an actual Aztec mask. The mosaic. Alright, that's enough. The point is that I'm proud of the work that I'm doing. Alright. Let me close this so the fucking thing doesn't lag. Oh! I also got my, um, my computer parts. Everything but the case. The case is gonna take a few more days. But I have a 3080 Ti and a, like, a 5900X and all that shit back there. Um, so once I get the case, I'll, I, I, I don't know if I'll assemble it myself. I think I might just, like, hand it off to, like, Best Buy people. The thing is, it took me seven hours to assemble last time, and I can legitimately make more money during seven hours of streaming than I could by just, like, paying them to do it. I already built my computer the first time. Also, the first time I had, like, uh, you want to know how to upgrade? I'm not gonna upgrade it. Do it during stream? Uh, I'm gonna, like, fuck it up and break something. How much was the 3080 Ti? Like, a thousand. The real reason I've made so much progress with the stuff that I just showed you is because I'm terrified of starting the two things that I know I'm going to struggle with, which is um, animating and doing AI for, like, an actual, like, character. 
I'm going to do like a little rat on the ground that's just a head and a, and a body to start simple. Like it's just going to be a little head and body. It's just going to wiggle around and stuff. And I'm going to start from there. Make its head follow you and it'll do like a bite. No tail? Okay, also a tail. Fine. Also a tail. Um, yeah, low poly rat. I think for most AI stuff, you end up copying other methods. It's, uh, the, 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 thing that, the thing that fucks me up is like AI in all games is fucking garbage. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing that fucks me up. I don't think I've ever played a first-person game. The only game that I could think of that has a first-person melee emphasis that had good enemy AI is The Forest. That's the only one that I can think of. Almost all games that have a melee emphasis from first person have enemies just run the fuck up at you, or they just stand still some distance away from you and shoot lasers or whatever. Yeah, Fear had good AI, um, but I've never played Fear. I only know that it had good AI. Uh, good AI. Um, because I've seen the, um, Mandalore gaming videos, which were great. You guys played the forest? The forest, um, the forest's AI was really cool for the, uh, tribesmen. Like, they'll, they'll do wacky shit. They'll, like, try to encircle you. They'll run around. They'll run away if they feel, like, too threatened by you. They're super cool. Yeah, it's super buggy. But they're gonna come out with a sequel. Eventually. Don't they knock your stuff down, too? Yeah, they do. They're pretty cool. Sons of the Forest? I, I don't know what the working title is. Just know that good AI is hard to do. But I want to try. Will you add weapon effects or magic stance? Give me a bit, okay? We're just trying to work on the basics right now. If I can get, like, basic attack hit detection and, and get the animation feeling, like, nice and chunky, you know what I mean? Like a nice, solid, like, thwack. And then I can make one enemy a hit particle for when you hit them and then assign HP values to both me and them and make them ragdoll when they die, then disappear. Then I then I have something. Then I have like a working. Then I have like a like a, a proof of concept, right? I have like a like a um, I have like a single nugget of gameplay loop. You know, all this could be done in a few hours of Unreal. Now, nah, any what what I'm doing right now, if I were to have done it in a few hours, I wouldn't have learned anything. There's you can always do something by like copying guides or whatever. But I'm trying not to follow guides to the best of my ability. I'm just trying to look up like individual functions. And like, how do you reference this type of thing or whatever? Like, so if you if you get like the building blocks, then you can you can iterate um, out. I mean, you can do anything in a very short time. There are those twenty four hour game dev jams. Uh, it's about learning, right? I hate that lossy input. I hate how that feels. I hate the directional. I I hate the thing where it's like the direction your mouse is pointed in is how it swings. I hate how that feels. I slept like shit, gal. I was just laying in bed at like three a.m. Thinking like I could be coding right now. It's fucking stupid ass fucking ADHD obsession brain man.